So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, you know, just hi, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Edward. I'm Edward Escoffrey. Um, this is my son Jordan. Hi, Jordan. We've been, we've been kind of dabbling in this thing for about uh, a Christmas. year and a half. Christmas before, so you know it's been a little while. We built. I built quite a few quads. I've actually probably built about twelve quads and rebuilt quite a few. And you know, I've, you know, become pretty proficient with it. And um. Then I just hit this stumbling block lately, and I just, for some reason, I just can't get past it. It's like, you know, I'm a good problem solver, and I usually can work it out within a day or two, but this one, it just has me stumped. And I've actually built another quad and try to replicate the same conditions with a different flight controller, different ESCs, different motor. I've even tried a different radio. I bought my son the, um, the QX8-7. Seven. Seven. And we tried that one instead of the Tyrannus, and still I'm having the same exact problem. As I don't know if you saw it before. So let, let's let's uh, why don't you show show everybody what the problem is? Do do the thing where you arm the quad and and show us with the phone, you know, what the motors do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna arm the quad. Um, I'm gonna plug it out from Beta Five for one second, okay? Yeah, sure. I just want to do it without without being plugged in the beta foot. All right, so yep. we're on the quad, so we're armed, mm -hmm. and um, just watch this motor right here. That, and as we start to throttle up, see, I, I I'm not touching the throttle. I'm not increasing the throttle. It's increasing mm -hmm. its own on its own. It starts going crazy. Ah, it, starts really, <laughs> it doesn't spin at all. And it's the same exact with the quad that I just built for my son. It's doing the same exact thing. And um, the motors spin up fine. They yeah, so, act so normal. That's, that's the first thing that I, that I want to check is, and we, we, I, I, we've checked this off camera, so we won't check it now. But when you uh -huh. plug in to Betaflight and you go to the motors tab and you raise the slider, all four mm -hmm. motors spin at the same time. Smooth spin at the same exactly. time. Smooth, clean, no problems. And, and when right. they do spin up on their own like this, when I just – as soon as the throttle increase a little bit, it actually races up on its own, except for that one motor that doesn't race. Like the um, seems like it's the number the number one motor just kind of stalls; yeah. it doesn't do anything. And the other one starts screaming. So I thought maybe because you know self leveling or something like that. I tried it in a different yeah. mode; it still does the same thing. So at this so point, I'm just let, really let, confused. Let's summarize the problem for the people who may not have caught it when we were showing it. As soon as you mm -hmm. arm. You have you have motor mm -hmm. stop turned on, right? So when you arm, the motors don't start spinning immediately, or did they? I can't right, remember. Right, I have to um, you raise this setup, right, for the motors to spin up, right? When I as soon as I raise it up and it's, they start spinning, like three motors, especially number one, it gets. I mean, number th say one, two, three. Number three gets hot, and you know it's it's racing real hard, and it, it's normal for the motors to spin up uh, when you arm without props. Uh, although yours are doing it a little more aggressively than I've seen. Mm. Uh, and the reason for that is that the, the, the gyro is detecting vibration from the motors and it tries to respond to the vibration the same way it would if when you were flying, the copter, uh, was, was, you know, maybe blown by the wind or something and it would adjust the motors to compensate for that. But since it doesn't have props on adjusting the motors, doesn't do anything. Uh, and, and since the the, the the PID loop detects that it's being ineffective, and so it tries harder, mm -hmm. and basically the motors just spin up. So it's really normal when you arm when you arm the quad with the props off, and then you raise the throttle just a little bit for the motors to slowly speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, because the PID controller is going, nothing's happening, I'm going to try harder. That's basically it. So that's completely normal. Now yours are doing it faster than usually. It's like yours are kind of going like immediately. So I don't know about that, but that that's not inherently abnormal. The other thing, the other thing we're seeing is that the number three motor is stopping. So the motor should never stop when the copter is armed, um, mm -hmm. because that that's what min throttle should prevent. Okay, so you, you min and you've set min throttle. Let's go ahead and we can look at the the copter. So go ahead and plug the copter in and bring it up in beta flight. And we'll start checking your configuration. Oh. Oh, and while you're doing that, I'll just I'll just talk over you. But min, min throttle should be what prevents the motors from ever stopping when the copter is armed. So min throttle is the minimum amount that the copter will that the flight controller will ever send to the motors 
And we need to configure that so that it's always high enough that they never stop spinning. So okay. now you said that 1140 is the point yeah. where when you go to the motors tab, that's where the motors spin smoothly, right? Yeah, when so I'm in, I'm um, actually, the, the, I think this is the fourth in device was like 1148. So I just went ahead, uh, just for conversation's sake, so I never even did this before. I just went ahead and set the uh, min throttle at it, the same thing, maybe a little bit lower, maybe 1120, yeah. something like that. And yeah. it just, and actually, I think it's still at the default, which is 11. I checked the min, uh, the min check, and it was at 1100 in the yeah. C, in so the CLR. Set, 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 set min check aside for a minute. So mm -hmm. you got min check and max check, and those are actually two completely separate things from min throttle min command and max throttle. So min throttle, min command and max throttle are in one group and they pertain to how the flight controller talks to the motors and then min check and max check, just set them aside. They sound similar, but they're, they're not, they're different. Okay. So you did the right thing. You went to the motors tab and you raised the motors slider until the motors all started spinning. Mm -hmm. And you got, you found that the number where they started spinning was like 1148. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty close to that. What you if, if that's the point where the motors just barely start spinning, we could do that if you want. You got you got the battery plugged in? Yeah, oh um, hold on, let me get a battery and I'll do it. No, oh, sorry, I thought we were showing my quad. <laughs> yeah, so start to raise that slider and, and point the camera at the motors and let's see where they start spinning. Sorry, the motors. Is that good? Mm -hmm, sure. And I'll show you a little trick. If you just click on that slider uh -huh. once with the mouse mm -hmm. and then press the up arrow on the keyboard, it'll raise it sort of slowly, it'll, basically one notch at a time. And it'll take okay, you a little so. while to get to 1100 if you do that. But if you just move it with the mouse up to like 1100 and then just start to raise it with the, with the, uh, with the up arrow, you can see you can find sort of exactly the point where they start to spin. You so said hold down. You can hold it down or you, it should be going up, oh, right? Is it going, going up? It's going up, yes, yeah, going up. Oh, it's going up, there you go. So we'll find exactly the point where they start to spin. I hear them. Uh -huh. They're really spinning weird. Yeah, keep going. So they're just, now they're spinning smooth. Yeah, so are all four of them spinning smoothly at this point? I can't quite yeah. see. Pretty yeah, very smooth. Yeah. Okay. So you saw that they started to just twitch a little, and then as you continue to raise it, they all started smoothly. And eleven forty eight is the point where that happened. So if if that's the point where they, you go ahead and lower the slider. You can stop now. Okay. If that's the point where they just barely start spinning mm -hmm. with no force on them, then we need min throttle to be a little bit higher than that because when you're flying, the the air mm -hmm. is going to be pushing on them, the wind is going to be pushing on them, etc. And if if you could see if you if you put the slider at eleven forty eight and you just barely touch the motor, it stops spinning. So it needs more force than that to make sure it never stops spinning when it's in the air. Okay. So the way you would set min throttle in reality is you would find that point just like you did. You did the right thing there, and then you would add. I, I usually add about twenty to it, a minimum of twenty, maybe twenty five, depending on the ESC and the motor. You might need more than that, but I would. So if you were at eleven forty eight was your is your spin and smooth point, then I would uh, use like eleven uh, sixty eight as my min throttle. Okay. But that actually doesn't explain what's happening here necessarily. Uh, and there's another issue that it raises. Okay, so that motor shouldn't. I wonder if we set min throttle to like 1168 and then do the arming test again. Will motor number three keep spinning? Let's do that first. Okay. Let's see if that's why motor number three is stopping. All right, so I'm because min throttle, min throttle was right at the bottom, the absolute minimum, and it was it needed to be higher. Should I disconnect from beta flight to do it or leave it connected? No, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and to uh, the configuration tab in beta flight. Okay. Uh huh. And in the configuration tab, you should see min throttle in the upper right. Uh, right now, it's at eleven sixty eight. Oh, yeah, do you I, change I, I it already? I already reset okay. it here. Yeah. So you don't need to disconnect. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and arm with the transmitter, and let's see okay. what happens. And go ahead and raise the throttle a little, just like you did. Okay, I'm doing it very slowly. Really just... Okay, so go ahead and stop. <laughs> So that motor kept spinning now. We raised min throttle correctly. Spin, That's yeah. good. It's, That's it's good. still doing the crazy thing. 
I know we'll get there. We'll get there. There's another issue that I need to, that I need to raise though. And that uh -huh. is that a min, a min throttle of 1168 or 1140 is mm -hmm. so high. It suggests to me that your ESCs are not calibrated. So I'm going to guess that your ESCs came from the factory with some endpoints configured and, and, and then normally what I would, th that's usually way too far in from where it really needs mm -hmm. to be. And I normally want to calibrate them. Uh, so yeah, I think that's the default. I think that 1148 number was the default. So I didn't change it. So yeah. 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 So what let's do is let's, uh, let's calibrate your ESCs. And so let's, let's go, let's go in beta flight, go to the configuration tab. Okay. And let's okay. check what your min command and your max throttle are. Okay. Okay. So your min command is a thousand, your max throttle is two thousand. Uh -huh. So there's an immediate problem right there already. So let's talk for a minute about about min command and max throttle and like what the purpose of that is. Uh -huh. So the 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 flight controller is going to output a throttle signal. Let's say that goes from one thousand to two thousand, and the ESC is going to hear the throttle signal, and they just basically need to agree on what the sort of top and bottom of that range are. Uh -huh. Um, right now the ESC shipped from the factory and it's, it's bottom, it's, it's equivalent of min command is probably something like 1100 or 1120. And that's why min, you, the, the value that you need to get to, to make the motor spin is 1140, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 1148. But beta, but, yeah. But, but beta flight is sending a minimum of a thousand. So you've got this great big gap at the bottom of your throttle range. Where beta flight thinks that from 1,000 on up the motor is going to be spinning, but the ESC thinks that from like 1,100 on up the motor is going to be spinning, and everything from 1,000 to 1,100 they are not in agreement. Beta flight's like, why aren't you doing anything? And the ESC is like, you told me to stop. Right. So we need to calibrate them to get them in agreement. So let's let's go through that. What we're going to do is going to unplug the battery from the quad. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, we're going to go to the motors tab. So yeah, so now bring the master slider all the way up. <coughs> now plug the battery in and the ESCs are going to give it a, a, a different tone that indicates that they're doing calibration. Now slide the slider all the way to the bottom. Awesome. So that indicates that calibration is complete. Now, the next thing I want you to do is click on the master slider one time with the mouse and use the up arrow key to raise it slowly. And you should see that now they begin spinning at uh, probably about 1020 is probably where they're going to begin spinning. I can hear them spinning. Where did they start? I'm trying. I'm going back, but I must have did it too fast. Probably yep. like right at 120 right now. Yeah. There you Probably go. Right that's, at 120. And that's I mean, usually 10, the, Yeah, there we that's usually the case for for most BL Heli SESCs. After you calibrate to 1000, they usually spin around 1020, and then we're going to add 20 points to that and make our min throttle 1040. So go ahead back to the configuration tab. So the fact that your min throttle was so freaking high suggested to me that you hadn't calibrated the endpoints. And the advantage of calibrating those endpoints is that you're going to get more resolution out of the throttle channel. So that the more steps you have in there, the more resolution you get. And it's it's debatable whether it makes a difference, but wow. but it never hurts to get to do it right. So now we've got that sorted out. That's that's all good. Now, the next thing I noticed, I noticed that when you raise the throttle with the motor spinning, the quad kind of like it, it it oscillated on the yaw axis i think it did yeah it does it has a it's a sharp jolt yeah and it um that suggests to me that you might have a motor spinning the well if there was one motor spinning the wrong direction now well, that mm -hmm. would do it i wonder if you've got a motor spinning the wrong direction and that's why it's I'll sort of trying to flip out I've checked these things quite a few times, but I, I went I, I went through these I things. I believe you. Yeah, you so know, let's, just, <laughs> probably more than once, but I just couldn't believe it. But we'll check it again. 
yeah, go. We'll do it for the viewers. And I always okay. refer to the I, to the graphic in the upper left. And then the other thing mm -hmm. I do is I'll get a zip tie or a credit card or something mm -hmm. instead of just trying to feel with my finger because I can't always tell. Yeah. And I'll stick the zip tie or the credit card in the motor and see which way it's pulled. And that it means I'm I'm a hundred percent sure which direction the motor's spinning. I know that sounds a little dumb, but but it's, uh, I can't no, I always tell. Just but. But put I my do too. Out. I use a um, okay. I use a card sometimes just to check. Yeah. So let's double check. Motor number one is the back right. Should be going clockwise. All right. Yeah. We're gonna check them together too. So let's 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 close okay. up on the back right motor, and okay. just raise the master slider to you know ten forty or something. So they're all spinning, just not screaming okay. away. Oh, and we'll just check the them all one, one by one. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't connect the battery. Yep, you got to connect the battery. Correct. So you got to, and you got to lower the lower the slider back down before you connect the battery. And you, if you plug the battery in with the slider yeah. raised, you may be calibrate. Yeah. All right. So back right motor. All right. I'm gonna take a little piece of paper. Can you see it? Uh, hang on. Are we looking at the? Yeah. The that car. looks like the back left. Is that the back right? Yeah, this is the right. Which way is the front? Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that one clearly. is correct. Yeah, I can going see the right it's way. going clockwise. That's correct. All right. Okay, next one. Uh, A little jiggly camera here. Yep, that's that's correct. Okay, next one. Okay. That's correct. You got it. Okay. Next, I'm gonna be real disappointed if they're all spinning the right way. They nope, are, that's man. Correct. I was disappointed too. That's right. okay. So we got them spinning the right way. Yeah. I gotta wonder if if it's okay. I mean, we verify. So let's verify one more thing. Let's uh -huh. go into configuration tab. Uh, go to the setup tab. Okay. And pick the quad up. Is your accelerometer turned on? Yeah. Pick the quad up and let's check that the 3D model moves correctly. So pitch forward and back. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Pitch forward and back. Yep. Roll left and right. Correct. And I, I'm not looking. Uh, is it rolling the correct direction? It's not inverted. Like you go right and it goes left. No, it looks right. And yaw is correct as well. Yeah, it's going so, the right direction. Look, those are all, those are all the basic checks that I do. Um, mm -hmm. Let's check. Let's check in the receiver. Let's check that as well. Go to the receiver tab. I know you've built. You said you built twelve quads. So are these. Ba you, I yeah, know maybe you more. Missed. Maybe a little bit more. I've been at it for <laughs> but, <yeah>. but <laughs> Never know what you might have missed. Is your receiver turned I'm on? Doing. Are you transmitting? Yeah, hold on. Let me turn it on. Yeah. Welcome to Open TX. I am. Okay. Okay. So, uh, move your throttle. Throttle, uh, yaw, okay, pitch, and roll. So we're just checking that the correct channel moves, and they do. Center your sticks. Leave the th throttle down, stick centered. So here's something that I notice. Mm -hmm. Notice that when your sticks are centered, they're not centered quite at 1,500, and yeah. the 3D model is drifting a little. That's going to mm -hmm. cause the motors to spin up as well, and that may be what's mm -hmm. doing it. So what's happening there is Betaflight can see that your sticks are deflected just a little. So it's trying mm -hmm. to roll the copter left or right, whichever, the, whichever way the sticks are going. And mm -hmm. when it, again, when it fails to do that because your props are off, it tries harder and harder until your motors spin up. I wonder if you um, go ahead and, and use your trim switches to cause, with your sticks centered, roll, pitch, and yaw to center at 1,500. Okay. Yep, perfect. Trim center. Just to, just to, that's fine. That's good enough. That's good. So now let's go ahead. Uh, let's arm the quad again and see if the motors flip out.
Well, they're still speeding up. And I don't wonder why it's jerking like that. I don't know. I would normally, I would normally expect them to speed up together and slower than that. But I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent willing to call this a problem yet. Ah, his channels are centered. Will you, will you be, will you be willing to call it a problem when you see that the same, this other one does the same exact thing with a different flight controller and everything else, and you know, and I, and the well, no, only thing that's. Yeah, go ahead. The only thing that I find that it was the same, like I'm using S bus, and I'm wondering. It seemed like I don't, I don't know if it's like a communication problem between the radio and the um, like a signal. No, problem. no, I don't, I don't think so. And here's, here's, here's how we can confirm that. You can see in the receiver tab that mm -hmm. the channels are coming in accurately. Mm -hmm. This, the receiver mm -hmm. tab is where you diagnose problems between the transmitter and the receiver and the flight controller, and you can see the channels are coming in perfectly correct, clean, crisp, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'll tell you what I would absolutely call it a problem if it did it with the props on. So right now we've checked everything I can think of. The only other thing I could think to check is yaw direction. If yaw direction, well, I think you would know if you had messed with that. Um, have you been messing around in the CLI and changed yaw direction? No, 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 no. I didn't know. Yeah, so no, so I, I even check. I check. I, ch I check the inverters on the um. Yeah. I said maybe it's the S bus inverter, but I know they have built. Both these chips have um. It's supposed to have built in inverters, so I mean, right. I, I'm just confused. Yeah, if it, if the S bus inversion was configured wrong, then you you wouldn't see the, anything moving on the receiver tab. You're you're in right. good shape at this point. The motor won't stop. Um. Let's just let's check your min check. That's this has nothing to do with your problem, but I I feel like it's another thing I do. Notice that your look at your mm -hmm. throttle channel right now. It's at nine eighty seven, right? Mm -hmm. Go to the CLI mm -hmm. and type get min underscore check. Oh, sorry, min underscore. Yeah. So your min check is at 1100. Now, let me let me tell you what that is. Uh -huh. um, in order to be able to input stick commands, like if you're doing stick arming, uh, are you doing stick yeah. arming or switch arming? I use a switch. Yeah, okay, me too. I, I, I think that's the right way to do it personally. Uh, so, But if you were doing stick arming, you know, you would go down and to the left to, to arm and down to the right to disarm. I actually don't remember which. The point is that you wouldn't want the quad to start yawing like crazy when you go down and to the left. You, you, right. right. So anytime the stick goes below min check, um, one of the things that happens is that the motors go to idle. And the other thing that happens is that yaw is disabled if you're doing stick arming, which you're not. So that's the main reason I think why switch arming is a good idea. If you're doing stick arming, the minute you lower the, the throttle all the way down, you lose your yaw axis completely. And that I don't like that. Um, the, the, the effect is, though, that between the, the bottom of the throttle, which for you is 987, and min check, which is 1100, you have dead band. When you raise the stick, the motors don't start coming up. Uh, and, and that's a lot of dead band down at the bottom of the throttle, just sort of dead space that's wasted. So I always like to lower min check. So if your throttle is down at 987 when the stick is all the way down, let's set min check to like 1010. You need to be able to get below min check. Uh -huh. uh, the throttle has to go below min check or you can't arm. But you don't once once you get below min check, there's no point in having min check be any higher than it needs to be. So go ahead and set min check to like 1010. And when you when you next next you arm and raise the throttle, you'll see you only have to raise the throttle just a tiny bit before the quad comes alive. And I think that's preferable. I, I, you probably like it too. Go ahead and save that. <clears throat> Now you now let's check another thing. You mentioned um, your modes, auto level modes, and so forth. So mm -hmm. I, I think you know this already, but for the for the viewers, another mm -hmm. cause of the motors speeding up rapidly when you arm is that if you have an auto level mode on and the quad is not level, it will try to level itself. It'll speed the motors up. And again, if the props are off, that will have no effect, and it'll try harder and harder by spinning the motors faster and faster. So we're going to check your modes tab as well, and we can see that you're in angle mode right now. Okay, mm -hmm. 
So let's do this. Let's just temporarily delete those modes. Or can you take it out of angle mode if you have a switch for that? Yeah, I mean, either way, it doesn't. I could do that. Uh, okay, there we go. So let's just confirm that the same thing happens with auto level turned off. And you, you tell me it does, so it probably does. Let's just confirm that. Okay. Is it doing it? I'm trying to find a little throttle port for it. No, it sounds like a little. It's a little. It, it sounded like it didn't go all the way up. It just sounds Actually, like it's idling. Well, yeah, it sounds like it's idling pretty good now. Okay. Okay, I think we got this. Well, there goes a little bit. Yeah, but but again, with the props off, if you just leave, if you arm and leave it idling on the bench with the props off, it's going to flip out. I mean, not like flip out literally, but it's going to get a little mm -hmm. upset because it doesn't like, the PID, the PID controller doesn't like the fact that it doesn't have props and it's having no that's, effect on the outside that's a, world. That's actually a lot smoother than it's ever been, like right now, like, you know, like all four motors are spinning. See, I, I got like pretty much yep. the minimum throttle and all four are actually spinning pretty. Awesome. I hear a little bit of awesome. speeding up, but that could be, uh, do you hear the speeding up? I think it's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, but again, a little bit is normal. A little bit's normal. Okay. So I think what's happening is that you had the auto level turned on, and that's what was putting you over the edge. The copter uh -huh. is not level, and it, it can't level out because it doesn't have props on. So it uh, it was just spinning the motors like crazy. We we've, we've put props on them, and you know, like we put oh, props boy. outside, like just to see, like if that was the mm -hmm. case. Like one time, we just after I pretty much tried everything in the early stages, and um, it went crazy. Like we, luckily, I was far enough away. I just kind of get a little bit of throttle, and it kind of yeah. flipped out. And and, so. and I, I I do that too. The first time I I I throttle up a copter after I've built it, I stand way far away from it. Because if anything is <laughs> if something isn't right, they can go fifty feet in a random direction with the props spinning before you get your finger on the disarm switch. I stand way away. Uh, well, yeah, I think there were multiple things that were not right. The the only thing mm -hmm. remaining now is to get the accelerometer calibrated and trimmed. But we saw okay. that when we had it in acro mode, in other words, when, when the auto level modes, angle and horizon were turned off, the motors just sort of slowly idled and kind of slowly spun up, but not too much. And I think that means we fixed it, except for the fact that we need to do it, calibrate. Hey, this is something new to, new to Betaflight, like a newer version of Betaflight. I'm just wondering if there's something in the software in Betaflight because I've had, I have pre previous versions, like earlier versions of the copters, even with some clean flight and pretty much with almost the same configuration as far as flight controllers go and the receivers and that kind of stuff and just wasn't having yeah. this problem until recently. Well, I, yeah, I mean, surely something has changed. I don't know what it might be. Nothing nothing like radical has changed. Well, I don't know, depending on how far back you go, something radical might have changed. But, um, but yeah, uh, I, yeah, I think I, I really don't know. I really don't know why you didn't run into this in the previous ones, to, to tell you the truth. Um, could it be air mode? Go to uh, go to. You don't have air mode on here. Go to configuration. No, I don't. I, I don't even no, use you don't have that mode. on. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Like, I don't I, know the answer. I, try, I tried it before. I just didn't really like it. You know, because sometimes I forget to flick it off when I'm crashing. It's yeah. just kind of like a mental block. Like lots, and I'm just looking at the quad crashes, crashing, so I forget to flip it yeah. off. So, you know, yeah. I just I just take it off completely. I don't really find a benefit in it. For me anyway. So let's go. Let's go to the setup tab. Uh -huh. And and of course, what you would do is you would set the copter flat on the table. Go ahead, do it now. Set it flat on. The, it looks like the cal it looks like the accelerometer is pretty close to correct, but sometimes yeah. it doesn't hurt to just set it on the table, hit, hit calibrate accelerometer, and that'll that'll recalibrate it. At this point, I would feel comfortable going out and hovering this copter. Uh, I, we've done all the checks that I feel like we need to do. The motors are behaving reasonably, at least in acro mode, they're behaving pretty normally. I would feel, I would be pretty confident this copter would hover, That's but I would great. still stand, I would still stand 50 <laughs> feet away <laughs> the first I'll time. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. so let's, let's, uh, let's sum up what, what we did here. We, we calibrated the ESC endpoints, right? Yeah. We set our min throttle correctly. We checked the motor directions. We checked the receiver tab to see that the the sticks were coming correctly. Yeah. So and then uh, we confirmed that in uh, in auto level modes it was worse, but because the copy wasn't quite level. So right. 
All right, there you go. Great. I thanks thanks so much, man. It's been it's, hey. it's been about actually about two and a half months, like just like just like a stumbling block and just trying to get past it. So I appreciate it. Yeah, I hope it hovers. You let me know if it hovers. I, I will. I'll definitely I'll definitely let you know. Believe me. All right. All right. Nice meeting you guys. You too. Thanks. Right, gonna... Bye bye. Yeah. Bye.